Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, the 3.6 update came out, and I forgot it was a thing, so... A lot of the replays are ripped, so that's a rip. <laughs> Nothing too special this week. A lot of people... They kind of started out the battle right, and then they lost a unit or two to like Legendary Lucina using Future Vision or whatever, or Sheeta getting danced or things like that. And then this, I think this person ended up like, let's see if it, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, this person just like baited and then with their like one unit I think and then they got nuked and a lot of people is just either end turn or going with gale force all the usual shenanigans so we only have four replays today which is a <laughs> great great video length kind of interesting I would not expect someone to have the shrines up on offense that's kind of interesting but uh at this point, a lot of people do have their um, dank nagas and stuff. Seeing Surtur here, it's been a long time since I've seen Surtur. Not gonna lie. So here they just bait with Reinhardt, which I'm not understanding. <laughs> I don't understand that. Um, all right, and they don't do anything, <laughs> I'm getting confused. And that's Surtur for you, I'm getting even more confused. <laughs> um, okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what that person was trying to do. Maybe it was like a misclick or something. I don't know, but that, that was interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see that there's the uh, nerf where they swap the locations of these buildings. I don't care whatsoever, so I have basically changed absolutely nothing. At some point, I'll probably will change things around, like maybe where the trap locations are and stuff, but I don't really care too much. Hmm, I wonder what they're gonna do. So now, the, a better place to be at, of course, is where I think they're going to bait with Fallen Tiki. We'll see if they do that. Looks like they're going out to the ether structures though, which is totally viable. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Waiting for the bolt tower to go off to go in. And then they'll probably just leave. Yeah. That makes sense. And then they have a pretty free retreat. Um, give or take. <laughs> uh, got him. Uh, so their bullet trap goes against them. Along with seeing these Wings of Mercy and Future Vision. So, totally not galaxy brain shenanigans. It should, yeah, just be able to one-shot Lucina there. And I guess they're having Fiorm versus Azura, which is kind of whatever. A funny drawback from Luna. <laughs> uh, nothing too special here. Just have an easy win at this point. And I guess they're going to use Leon to uh, stall out a turn so they can get the last ether structure. So that's cool, I guess. Should probably put like Moonbow or something on Azura, but I'm like, at the same time, that's probably just going to make her attack more than dance. So I don't know. Here comes someone with a particularly interesting team here. Pretty standard Camilla build. Um, there's Azura, Nagas, and Anna, who's surprisingly still pretty bad, Kappa. 
how the heck does she only have well, just whatever don't don't question it um but yeah it should be a pretty easy win for them just have to make sure because their camilla is running eye out shield and stuff so lucina is not going to be doing much of course the big thing is how frequent soul activate they're probably just going to wait to get some get multi-kill out of here yeah, they're just going to... Okay, they take out Caden. That's kind of interesting. This doesn't really matter because Legendary Lucina isn't going to do anything. So, they should have an easy time at this point. Lona doing a little bit of damage. It's not bad. Lucina doing even less damage. 10 out of 10. So, yeah, nothing too special there. And they should have a pretty easy time getting the Ether structures. But it doesn't look like they're going for it because it's last day shenanigans, so it doesn't look like they need it. And somehow, somewhere, this person also loses. <laughs> um, I wonder what hap- Seriously though, if you've been watching my replays, Surter has not been a thing. I don't know why he's showing up again, but I, I think we all know how this is gonna go. Oh boy. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Seriously. Mm, I don't know, man. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't even think about this. Oh my gosh. She's so great that she dies to no E, 10 out of 10. Oh cool, Surtur lives. Not. Defense refined coming in clutch, Kappa. <laughs> uh, well, I'm kind of questioning how they kept losing more units, so. Yeah, that, that would do it. Yep. That would do it. Yikes. So I'm guessing they're gonna live with Roy here. They're just going to, yeah, lift the advantage shot, but he's really down on HP. So we all know what that means. That's a rip. And they just surrender. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Totally great, um, no lie. But yeah, not really trying too hard this week. So not even, Top 6k. Ironically, even if I did, uh, if I did met, actually use a bonus unit and won all my matches perfectly like I did this week, then I would have gone tier 24 exactly because adding 320 would get me 12200. But uh, don't really care too much again. I'm just fooling around at this point, seeing how good noontime is with Vantage, and I still can't say for sure. But that's kind of part of uh, experimenting with it week after week. So like, I don't know. With my defense, it's so bad now. <laughs> I, I don't know. Should maybe do something like this. But Yeah, at this point, there's not really much I could care to do. Maybe move Panic Mare over somewhere else. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ethan Dragon. And hope to see you all next time. Bye.